YouTube, we are back with another news video. I'm having trouble <laughs> with my clicker, so this is the third time I'm recording this. In fact, I think I'm gonna go check real quick. Yeah, it's going. All right, for sure. Um, if you're wondering why my arm looks like this, I'm icing. I threw a lot of pitches today. If you guys wanna know how to take care of your body after pitching, uh, drop a comment and I'll make videos on what you should do, stretches specifically or uh, maintenance after you pitch. Um, for kids or for adults who are learning or anywhere, any age group, I can teach you guys how to take care of your arm. Um, so let's get to the news. So Daniel Vladar signed a three-year, $2.25 million extension with Boston. Looks like he's going to be the goalie of the future there. Um, Tuka Rass is getting up there in age, and um, that's a pretty good goalie to have teach you the, the ways of the, <laughs> the National Hockey League and uh, pave the way for the future. Boston has a good roster, and if they can keep uh, a good goaltender in between the pipes, they're going to be good for a long time to come. Uh, Pittsburgh extends Joshua Manny Scalco, a three-year, $2.75 million deal. He looks like he's going to be more of an offensive defenseman, but I could be wrong about that. Um, Pittsburgh is getting a little bit older, and a young defenseman on this team could really make a difference for them and push them to the next level if it's still there within them. Still got Malcolm, still got Crosby. Um, maybe one more run is left in there, and uh, hopefully this guy can do it for them. So Toronto... Uh, trades for Taiwan Walker in exchange for future considerations and Taiwan Walker uh, can help them bolster up their starting rotation which is a little bit weak um, if they want to make a push for the playoffs they're going to need more help from their starting pitching and uh, this is a guy that can on a good day push the roster to that next level and on a bad day just keep it where it is because they <laughs> he's really good sometimes and sometimes he just doesn't know how to throw a baseball for strikes and uh, I used to see a lot of him when he was with Arizona because West Coast Dodger fan, we see him a lot. We saw him a lot. And uh, when he's good, he's good. And uh, when he's bad, he's really bad. Uh, Gerard Dyson gets their hands on more of a defensive and speed substitution in Gerard Dyson in exchange for two point, or sorry, $243,000 in international bonus pool. Um, the Pittsburgh is obviously a really bad team right now. Uh, that bonus pool money could be used to attract some more international free agents and uh, fill up the farm system, which tends to be, a, which looks a little bit weak right now for them. Um, long way to go for Pittsburgh and international bonus pool, international prospects could really quicken that that wait time up for them. So the biggest trade on this list right here, we got Tommy Lestella. My goodness, I keep worrying that I stopped the video. Uh, Tommy Lestella going to the Angels. I'm sorry, Tom Lissetta going to Oakland. I'm all over the place. Like I said, this is my third time recording this. Uh, Tom Lissetta going to Oakland in exchange for Franklin Barreto. Um, this trade makes no sense for me if you're on the Angels. Um, if I was an Angel fan, I'd be really, really upset because Tom Lissetta has been one of the better players on that team. I get it. They're not a good team. The Angels are trying to tank, but I feel like he didn't need to be the one to go. Um, maybe he's a free agent next year, which would make more sense. And... Uh, you just kind of gifted a rival team, probably one of the best infields in baseball right now, with Chapman at third, Semyon at short, Lestella at second, and Olsen at first base. Um, you never want to help your rivals out, and I think that's exactly what the Angels did here. And it just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, Vegas gets their hands on Raekwon McMillan, which is in a middle linebacker from Miami, um, for a 2021 fourth. McMillan also comes with a 2021 20, fifth from Miami. Uh, looks to be more of a run-stopping linebacker. Aggressive on the blitz, Miami was. So if uh, Vegas wants to throw a similar kind of scheme and be really aggressive and push uh, push quarterbacks to make plays as well as stop the run, uh, McMillan would fit right in into that kind of scheme. And um, Vegas needs more help up the middle. Uh, Von Tazmist uh, got suspended for the, for the whole season pretty much last year, and they uh, struggled in that with the uh, middle linebackers. So this is a position that Vegas needs. And this is a guy that could fill the role in pretty good. Um, we haven't really seen his best yet. Um, Miami gave up on him, I think a little bit too soon. He's really young. This will be his uh, third year, I believe, as a pro. And uh, if the Raiders can groom him to be a, a really good middle linebacker, he could be a big key piece for that defense. And the last transaction for this video, we got Trevor Rosenthal getting sent to San Diego in exchange for Edward Olivares and future considerations. So Edward Olivares is a speed and defender kind of prospect. He's hit for a decent average in the minor leagues, but nothing outstanding. Um, average power, I would say. Uh, not a bad prospect, 
but like Trevor Rosenthal is the key for this. San Diego struggled with their bullpen, and if they could really start to groom up and get better, um, they're making a spot. They're probably going to make a, a push for the playoffs and make the playoffs. Um, they won't win the division behind the Dodgers. The Dodgers are just too good of a team. But um, San Diego's trying to end a playoff drought. They haven't been there in a while. And um, there could there could be a pretty exciting team to watch in the playoffs. I mean, you never really know. The playoffs is a whole other animal. And uh, Trevor Rosenthal could be a guy. Throws hard, good slider. Who knows, man? This, their bullpen on paper looks like it could be one of the best in the league, and they've struggled. That bullpen bounces back. This team is way better than their record says they are. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, make sure you follow the Instagram, at NoHitMedia. I post stuff on there as well, uh, stuff about cards, uh, stuff about real-life videos, stuff like that. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, comment what you guys think about these transactions, as well as what you want me to do in the future. Uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.